it's Nikki and welcome back to the sewing blog for Sew Uprising Patterns and SewUprising.com. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about sewing fold over elastic and give you my tips and tricks for sewing professional looking fold over elastic every single time. Sewing fold over elastic is a really easy process but definitely something that can take a little bit of getting used to. So in the rest of this video I'm going to walk you through it step by step, take you through the whole process so you can get that professional finish on your lingerie or swimwear design. All right, so there's really not that much to applying fold over elastic, but it is a skill that definitely gets easier with practice. So just know I've been doing this for a while and have kind of relearned my system. So the first thing to know about fold over elastic is it has that crease in the middle. You can see on both sides, that is its fold point. That is where it will naturally want to fold in half. And that little center point there is what you are eventually going to want to line up with your fabric when we get there. Just wanted to point that out first because that is the most common question I get is where do you put the fabric? You wanna line it up right with that center line. So the other thing that's really nice about fold over elastic is you can actually use both sides of it. So most fold over elastics are going to have a shiny side like this and then when you flip it over, they're gonna have a matte side that's a little more plush. So this is a little more shiny, a little rougher, and then a matte side that's a little more plush. You can decide which option you want to use as your right side. This is what would be traditionally considered the right side, the shiny side, but do know that if you want to use the matte side because you like the color of it better with your piece, you can totally use this as the outside point as well. Okay, so to full, sew our fold over elastic, the first thing we're going to do is put the right side, whatever we decided we want our right side to be, I'm going to use the shiny side as my right side, together in a long loop and line up these edges. And then you're going to sew about a quarter of an inch using either a tiny zigzag stitch or a small straight stitch directly across, being sure that you back stitch and secure that really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I will be right back. All right, so here's how it looks sewn. You can see I went back and forth a few times just to make sure it's really secure. Then we're going to wanna to take a small pair of snips and cut the edges of our elastic at little angles, just like that. Being careful not to get too close to that stitching line. But what that is going to do is help so that when we flip the elastic over, we're not going to get any sort of little tails. If you want, you can press this seam open using a low heat setting. Um, I find it works just as well if I kind of finger press it open. It tends to stay pretty well. Then the next thing we're going to do is quarter both the opening of our panty. And so here I'm working on the waist opening, but just know it's the same for the leg. So we're going to quarter that, and I used my side seams as two quarter points, and then I have my quarter points in the middle. And then we're going to quarter our elastic as well. So I use the seam as one quarter point, and then find the opposite. And again, I'm going to mark with a pin. Kind of hard to do through the viewfinder of my camera, but we're trying. And then I'm going to line up those two quarter points, hold them together on one side, and mark my quarter point on this end. Then I'm going to go back, realign my two quarter center points, and find the quarter point on this side. All right, now where you put your seam in your elastic on your panty is total personal preference. I know some people like to do it in the center back, some people like to do it in the side. You can kind of choose what you prefer. I think in this case, because I did French seams on my panty, I'm gonna put the seam in the middle. So I'm going to finger press this back open because it's being difficult for me. <laughs> and then grab my panty piece. I'm gonna flip it to the back side of my panty. And I am going to find my quarter point here. Now I'm going to put the wrong side of the elastic to the wrong side of the fabric, lining up the fabric right in that center seam point. And then I'm gonna grab a pin and hold those together. 
You could take out the pin you marked your panty center with, but I've had issues with it springing apart in the past, and it's just nice to have that still in there too. So then you're gonna match up the rest of your corner points going along your panty. Oh look, more untread, untrimmed threads. Are we surprised? I'm not. Again, making sure that we are putting the fabric right in that center of the elastic and that we are putting the wrong side of the elastic to the wrong side of the panty. Here we are again. All right, and one left. Boom. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to where we started. Can pull that out now. And we are going to sew a small triple zigzag stitch right in the center of this piece here. So overlapping both the fabric and the elastic, making sure we do not go past the bottom elastic edge and that we do not go over the center point of the elastic. So this will be a very, very narrow three-step zigzag. And while you're sewing, you're also gonna be wanting to make sure that you stretch your fabric so that it matches the elastic. You do not want to stretch the elastic more than you need to do to make the fabric sit flush, but you are going to want to stretch a little bit. So again, one more time, we are going to, as we sew, line the fabric up with that fold mark and stitch on the elastic, not going past the bottom of the elastic or over that fold. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll be back to show you what that looks like. And elastic is sewn on that first step there. So here's what it looks like both front and back. You can see my back's a little bigger, so I just stretch the elastic a smidge more. And you've got that triple zigzag that's not coming over the edge or coming over to the bottom. And this is a thread that matches pretty well, so it blends. That's what it looks like on that side. So our next step is going to be to enclose that raw edge. And we're gonna do that by just simply folding the elastic down and then stitching in place. Now for this stitch, you are going to use the tiniest zigzag that your machine will allow and you're going to try to stitch just along this bottom edge here, being sure not to go over into the fabric. And that will allow the elastics to still have a nice polished look, but also secure it down. Now this step, we are not going to stretch the elastic or the panties while we sewed. So our last step, we stretched the elastic to match the fabric. On this, where it puckers like that, we are just going to simply fold down and then close it. We are not going to stretch at all as we sew. If you do stretch, it's gonna to lead to puckering in your elastic and give you less of a professional looking finish. So, no stretching, just simply fold it down. You can pin if you want. So like I could sit here and pin it all down as I go. I am not going to do that just because I've done this plenty of times and know what I need to do. Um, I'm also gonna recommend a larger presser foot for this as well to help keep everything in place. All right, so I am gonna go stitch that back and then I will come show you what our finish, final finished perfect fold over elastic looks like. And here is our perfectly sewn fold over elastic all done. So you can see just how tiny that little zigzag stitch I used was to, to secure the front of the elastic. If your machine doesn't go that small, don't worry, just do as small as you can next to the machine. So here's what it looks like from the back. You can see a little bit of that zigzag stitch, and then you can see where my second row of stitching covered just the base of the elastic there. And it looks like that all the way around. You can give it a good press at the end if you're done. Make sure you're using a low heat setting or at least a pressing cloth when you're done, but boom. That is all there is to it. It's really not that hard once you get some practice going and just try it, right? You never know until you try. So sewing fold over elastic like I did here on the waistband and now to finish these panties I would just do a similar edge on the base and that's all there is to it. Happy sewing!